So for now, let's go to the presentation from Pekka. Pekka will talk about WP CLI. Some call it WP CLI. We don't know which version he prefers, but we'll find out. And he calls it the Swiss Army Knife. Let's find out some tricks from Pekka using WP CLI. Everyone, Pekka. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm going to talk about uh, WPCLI, that's how I say it. And combining it with some Linux tools. And yes, on this title I have Linux mentioned, but it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to run Linux natively. If you've got a Mac, most likely you've got these same tools that I'm going to utilize in my examples. And uh, since uh, since many, many years you've been able to um, run uh, the WSL over Windows, so you can run Ubuntu on Windows natively. Before we get going, first a quick introduction about me. I started my journey with WordPress in 2014, so it's been already almost 11 years. And it's been, I call it the journey because it's, it's been quite a journey. I, I started by uh, designing sites as a freelancer and eventually after a couple other kind of, uh, kind of uh, jobs, I moved to a company called Seravo and we are actually sponsoring this event. You can find us in the main hall. Come say hello and let's talk about WordPress. I did four years of customer support and now in the spring this year, I moved to the systems team. So I'm a system administrator or a junior one. And I gave this same talk in Porto last month. So this is my second WordCamp talk. But let's get, thank you. Let's get into the topic and what I mean by this. The power is nothing without controls. With this, I'm trying to say that we have this amazing amount of processing power right underneath, uh, underneath our fingertips on our laptops and on our smartphones, but we may fail to utilize that power efficiently. And I'm going to show a couple of examples. First is a hypothetical one. Let's say that I am very bad at math, and that's actually true. And I need to know the sequence of numbers from 1 to 5 in numerical order. So I'm going to ask my friend for that sequence. And my friend is very happy to tell that to me. But if I ask this same friend to repeat that sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for a hundred times in a row or a thousand times in a row, he's going to get bored because repetitive tasks are very bo boring for us. But a computer doesn't mind doing that same thing all over and over again. So let's take an example of a nested for loop in bash. That means it's a loop running inside a loop. So let's make the computer repeat those numbers that I need. I apologize if this is a little bit small, but I got info yesterday that the slides will be shared later on. And I have a GIF over here, the computer giving me the sequence by repetition. Before moving to an actual real life case, how I utilized or we utilized uh, some of these tools, I'm just gonna show a list of tools that I use pretty much on a daily basis in my tasks. I'm not going to go through all of them one by one. Again, you can check the slides later on. We are going to use the bottom two over here. We are going to use Xargs and the pipe. And here's how. In WordCamp Lisbon last year, a fellow named Julian over here he came to the core table to find some technical guys because he had, a pro he had a problem with his blog. In fact, 
he had over 30,000 spam comments on his blog, and he wants to get rid of them. So what's the solution? Do we delete them in batches in WordPress admin, 200 at a time? I, I didn't count how much time it would consume, but it's, it's quite a lot. Definitely no, because it's very in inefficient. We want to utilize the CLI together with Xargs and the pipe, because that is efficient. Here's how I did it. To simulate this case from Lisbon's WordCamp, I have generated on a testing site 31,000 comments, and then I marked them as spam. So then we have the exact same situation as Julian had. After that, we can tell the CLI to give us a list of those spam comments, and then we can pass that list to, a, to another command. In this case, we want to delete them. And here are the, where the magic starts happening. We first generate those comments. Then we take out a list with WB comment list. And we, d we don't need the spam email addresses. We, we don't need the name field from those comments. We only need the ID number so that we can distinguish them, uh, e each comment in the database. Now we have a list, and we can feed this list to another command called WP comment spam using the pipe and xargs there in the middle. So now we have a list of those IDs that what are spam comments. So how do we delete these? Well, this is machine readable, but as you saw on the GIF, it's not very human friendly to read, and there's 31,000 of them. So it's nonsense that anyone would even try. Again, we can use Xargs and the pipe and pass them to WP comment delete. Here is the magical command. I type this ready to go on Julian's laptop and let him press the enter button just in case. And once this sequence started rolling on his screen, he was very happy. He had a quite a smile on his face. So it took a while, and his problem was solved using these tools. In conclusion, in the WordPress admin, we cannot simply execute certain tasks. They, they can be either impossible or they can be extremely slow. That's why we want to utilize these command line tools so that, so that uh, we don't spend time clicking on those 200 batches at once and pressing delete after that. Here's an example what you can't do in the WordPress admin. Let's say that you update your PHP version and one of your plugins is not compatible with that version. So WP admin crashes. It only says that the site has a critical error. No way to do that from WordPress admin. But with the CLI, we can just deactivate the plugin that's incompatible, revert back to the PHP version, move to a staging site or a testing site, and solve the problem there, not in production. And again, once you combine these tools, and yes, yeah, Linux, again, mentioned, but use your imagination, you gain superpowers for administering your WordPress installation. And you might not know what kind of solution you're looking for at first, so always study the developer documentation most likely the solution that you are looking for is there. And that's for me. That's it for me. It's time to say kitos. Grazie. Thank you. Thanks, Becca. Thank you. Thanks, Becca, for, for the great presentation, the gift for you. Thank you very much. And be my guest.